Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Nona from TheAlignLover.com. I have another video for you in my intro to the McJim Z style type series. Today we are going over the classic. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe to support. And if you'd like to join my Patreon, I have linked it below. Before we get into the classic examples, let's just briefly go over the McJimsey philosophy. So McJimsey used the yin-yang spectrum to assess not only physical attributes, but more expressive attributes like mannerisms, voice, expression, and overall persona. And all of these had to be contemplated in order to create the most personal and authentic expression. So the classic is an intermediary type in the McJimsey system. It sits between the extremes of yin and yang on the spectrum, but it has a little bit more yang to it. So the yang qualities of dignity, structure, strength, and simplicity are definitely well within the classic, but the yang theatricality, the exaggeration is gone. And yin is brought into the equation. It brings more gentleness, softness, and delicacy. So what are the physical characteristics of the classic? And before we begin, the classic name comes from classic sculpture. So McJimsey compared this type or essence to the very regular and poised features of classic sculpture. And I think it's very apparent when you look at examples. So again, this is a very moderate, understated type. Their height, average, their body, well-proportioned, their posture is very poised, erect, easy, and graceful. Their head tends to be slightly long or oval, not extremely elongated, but not short either. Their eyes are, again, proportionate, clear and direct in gaze. Their brows proportionate with a pleasing, subtle arch. Their nose tends to be quite regular with either a slightly long and rounded tip or a slightly tilted tip. Their mouth is proportionate, well-formed balanced. Their hair is best kept controlled, groomed, simple, never exaggerated or overly ornate, not messy. Their expression is quite composed, graceful, dignified, and elegant. Their voice is clear and well modulated. Their gestures tend to be quite calm, poised, and controlled. And as far as their perceived maturity, they are poised at any age, but they have that extra reserve and maturity. Now, the interesting thing that McJimsey mentions in her book is that the classic type or essence tends to be more common with aging because with aging comes the softening of extremes. So if someone was really dramatic, very young in youth, with age, they gain a little bit more softness. Now, oppositely, if someone is very yin in youth, they gain a little bit more maturity and dignity with age. So this is a really great type, a very accessible and resonant type for more mature women. As far as costuming goes, their silhouette is best kept tailored, very simple, smart, no extremes, more of a straight silhouette with slight fullness that is expressed through soft pleats or folds and rarely expressed with very crisp, full, floofy bouffants or very big, perky, voluminous details. Again, their line is best straight with restrained curve that is softened by soft, pliable, medium to lightweight fabrics. Their details are either small scale yang, so those big, bold details scale down to a more moderate, less visually impactful size, or very tailored, simplified yin. So those very yin, ornate, delicate, more diffuse details are given a little bit more simplicity, streamlining, and structure. Details are best kept closely spaced. Paisley and small polka dots are described as being good choices, but solids are overall preferred. And the best textures or fabrics for them are soft and fine. As for more specific 
examples that were listed in the book. Necklines include very softly tailored necklines, small convertible collars, curved shawls, dainty mandarins or stand-up collars, and dainty bows or ties that can soften more harsh necklines. Formal wear is going to have more flat structural detail, so stitch down detail that has structure and shape to it. And she lists simple flannel cardigan suits as being good options. Not sure if anyone's wearing that anymore. Um, and she mentions that restrained colors are great, soft middle value colors, and neutrals are awesome. Shoes include simple pumps and trim oxfords. And accessories include pearls, inconspicuous, modest jewelry, smart plain bags, kid or cloth gloves and wrist, or quarter length with no decoration, again, very understated, trim sailor hats, pillbox hats, and cloche hats, and flowers that she associates with the classic include white rose, gardenia, small carnations, and violets. Very elegant, sophisticated, understated kinds of flowers and details. So I hope you can see this classic essence. It's just a very subtle but powerful kind of beauty. It doesn't draw attention or ask for too much attention, but it kind of magnetizes awe and reverence because it just has so much self-containment and sophistication and I would say self-control. So this is a very dignified, understated, poised type of carriage and beauty. And again, if this type resonates with you in both physical or non-physical ways, definitely try to explore it and try to incorporate some of it into your own wardrobe and your own personal expression. So that was it for today's video. Again, I try to stay quite close to the source material in this series, but in the future series and videos, I will definitely interpret this material and give more modern, more accessible examples. So I'll see you in the next video.